Hi guys, it's me once again, Legend of Bold is here. The Inheritance 2024. I enjoyed it, it's a great horror movie. Um, you know what I'm saying? A manual of the um, horror movie I just saw, saw recently. <clears throat> called Dangerous Game. John Boyd starred it. Um, he was like a similar character to um, Bob Gunter's character, who's Charles Abethany, who's like this billionaire who brings all his kids home to try and keep them out of the pan, to keep them alive. Because apparently something's going to kill him on his 75th birthday. So, <laughs> that's how basically the premise of the movie starts. Obviously, the, the kids, they don't like each other. They, always, they have to be there because you've got a patent list. Everyone knows from Cobra Kai and uh, School Spirits. That's a great show, by the way. Went for season two. Uh, yeah, so she's like this influencer type. Um, she's got a, a million suitcases when it comes to <laughs> going to the house. Uh, this, this guy who's like always helps out the dad. He's played by Bob Gunton, a legend. His, ch- his name's Charles Abethany. He's, he's basically says like um, the, the guy who works for him is like nine carrying your suitcases, but you carry it yourself. <laughs> I was like, let's go. Um, but yeah. They all arrive. Um, there's a brother who does. Um, he's not part of the family business. He's got a wife. Um, uh, well, basically, yeah, black wife, and he's kind of outside because his him and his wife kind of moved away, done their own thing. Um, but the brother and the sister, the older ones, just kind of stayed there to help the family business, don't run it. And he went away, did his own thing, Peyton, she kind of do the influence, she did the wrong thing too. Um, so yeah, that's the kind of dynamic they've got. They don't really like each other. <laughs> they come a very separate. Um, and then the games ensue when this movie uh, starts kicking the high gear. People start dying off left and right. Peyton List is the first one to be killed <laughs> in this in this movie. Um, and. I was like, damn, I was actually surprised. It was still, I was like, oh, snap. They weren't playing no games. Peyton just got wiped out quick. I was like, okay. Talking about her, her fame as of late, I was surprised that she got killed so fast. But I was like, okay. Um, this, this, kind of, this, this kind of demon kills her. Um, she's like, she's extra, so you don't see how he even kills her. You see the hole in her head. She's in the water skin. Snatched up. Deaded. Um. Then, who's next? So, yeah, the sister, sisters next. Um, the older sisters next, and the other, the other brother, the one who's always with her, stuck up. They're the stuck up family members. Pale is kind of like ah, she's kind of like in the middle. She's kind of influenced to like um, I don't want to say entitlement, but she's as stuck up as the older sister and the big sister, uh, big brother. He ain't stuck up as them. Um, but yeah, the age ranges that don't you know the age ranges in the, in the movie, they don't really tell you who's older and who's younger, kind of, they don't really tell you that. But you kind of go with the flow of how they're acting, so you're like, okay, they're kind of like the, the older one, they're out here, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, <laughs> he tries to go out the demon himself to get revenge for the sister. Um, he gets pushed off a balcony, he's dead. I'm like, oh my, well, he was kind of like a, alive a little bit when the demon kind of took him away. Um, but yeah, then, um, <laughs> he, where the, 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 the husband of the the wife, uh, he got shot. Did he? I think, yeah, the dad killed him, he shot him right there. Yeah, shot right there, killed him. So he's dead, and he's like, yes. There's no one else, you know what I'm saying? To stop me from surviving the night and escaping this pact that he built with this demon. Um, because um, throughout the movie, um, they find these texts that the dad's been reading and the wife can read it. So then, um, you know what I'm saying? He made like a Faustian pact, you know? And he's trying to find a way out of it <laughs> by them being there. He's going to get basically up to them to die one by one, giving them sacrifices kind of appease this spirit and um yeah it almost worked it's because the wife is the only one left at this point it almost worked until <laughs> she told him hey i'm gonna have a kid and i was gonna tell you but he did all this not nonsense <laughs> so have a nice life so then he just gets killed by these by basically the spirits of his 
dead children and uh, we're going to do something else. <laughs> we're going to do something like, yeah, this guy, that's okay, bro. He was, he was going too far. This, this, they can't pack attention to save his own kids. This guy, he was diabolical, bro. He didn't like crap about his kids. He was essentially live forever at this point, bro. This guy's crazy. But um, she kind of gets, she basically is in um, daytime now. The place opens up because, you know what I'm saying, his, uh, his helper basically locked the place down. Um, and basically, because basically, oh yeah, that was, that was another thing as well. The dad literally uh, <laughs> put in the, the will. They basically, whoever leaves could not get that like, inheritance money. So that was kind of the caveat in the will. That's why everyone kind of stayed. So, well, that's obviously the main pay, <laughs> reason why they stayed. But um, yeah, she walked out. So she didn't get no money because he was trying to beg her like, help me. I'll give you all of the inheritance. But nah, she was like, nah, I mean, I'm out here, bro. This money is worth it to me dying for. I'm good. Uh, this people probably got decent money anyway, so I was like, I'm out here, I don't need no billionaire, I don't need no hundred billion, I don't, I don't need that crap. She walked off, the limo driver took her home, so that's the end of the movie. So, <laughs> so the wife survives the movie, the rest of the family is literally essentially dead, there is no family members left, they're all wiped out, the immediate family is dead. Um, she's having a kid, oh, the, last li um, the line of his line is essentially in her, so. Um, so yeah, so that was how it um ended, and uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Other people want to see the inheritance, I'd say go check it out as a good watch, you know what I'm saying? Decent horror movie, and uh, yeah, great cast. You're gonna just um, recognize some people in this. Apparently, the limo driver at the end of this movie was uh, Chris Wood. I was like, what the heck is this guy? Chris Wood, I was like, I even see the limo driver's face. Because I saw like a guy driving, driving, I was like, Who the heck is that? I saw the limo driving, I was like, Who the hell is driving this woman away? But, but yeah, it's just crazy, <laughs> it's crazy. But, anyways, yeah, I said, I said, check it out. But, yeah, uh, Inheritance 2024, I say, check it out. Hey, like, share, subscribe, press the notification bell, and uh, yeah, nice talking to you guys. Put the comments in the comment section down below, press the notification bell. I'm out, peace.